You know, the U.S. economy has been growing pretty well over the last three years, but under the surface, as you mentioned, we've been in a freight recession, and we've seen some waves of destocking and some changes kind of under the hood that have had a lot of implications for, for different industries like retail, like freight. Um, I brought a couple charts just to illustrate what has been going on. So the first one, I believe, is uh, U.S. personal consumption expenditures. And you can see there that green line reflects um, consumption of goods. There was a huge surge through 2020 and 2021. We were all at home. We were ordering computers. We were ordering athleisure, all sorts of stuff. As you look through late 2021 and into 2022 and even 2023, that's when that destocking took place. We heard a lot about that from retailers like Target, Walmart, destocking and having to unwind huge inventory positions that they'd built up on their balance sheet. We also saw the same thing across uh, the more industrial facing economy. So a second chart, which looks very similar, shows um, US uh, manufacturing new orders. Again, that spike through 2020 into 2021 and then into contraction through 2022 and 2023. Um, exciting moment right at the end of that chart in the beginning of Got 2024. a little tick up there at the end. Is that tick up yeah. above uh, the 50 level, which represents an expansion. And so that's the sort of interesting potential um, restocking thesis that might mark um, an inflection point that investors should be paying attention to.